now to a rape investigation and a controversial plea deal. The fallout could impact every college and university in the state of Texas. We've been reporting on this story all week. A student accused of rape walks away with no jail time. His case now providing new ammunition to make changes on campuses. Our Jobin Panicker live tonight with more on this at UT Dallas. Jobin. Well, yeah, we're at, the, at this campus here, um, at this campus, because there was a rally here, and that rally is for assault victims everywhere. You know, this Anderson case has taken on national interest, but it's this bill that could affect people right here in Texas. With every development, another wave of emotion. Survivors, the strong, powerful survivors in this room. Here at the University of Texas Dallas campus, students stood in solidarity for the survivors of sexual assault capping off a week of developments in a rape case where the accused, Jacob Anderson, a Baylor student, agreed to a plea deal that involved no jail time and no requirement to register as a sex offender. And the latest news that Anderson, who left Baylor for UTD, is now not allowed to set foot on the UTD campus. There's even a petition to have the judge who ruled to resign. Judge Ralph Strother, as of midday Friday, it had just under 40,000 signatures. It is a small measure of justice, but the most important uh, aspect of it is to protect students on college campuses. State Representative Chris Turner of Arlington is pushing a bill that colleges and universities have to disclose why a student was expelled or suspended so that the next school knows. Turner says the bill was first filed last year, and not because of the Jacob Anderson case. The bill sat on the House calendar and died there. This latest Anderson case breathes new life to this bill, and even includes students who withdraw before the school finishes an investigation. You know, someone who's, who's been accused of an assault will try to short circuit the process simply by withdrawing from the university and killing the investigation that way. Uh, this, this bill would say that you can't. The representative is encouraged by the response, also encouraged by the people who have come to rally here at UTD. We are gathering here to spread information and support sexual assault survivors. But his hope is that the support here translates to what happens in Austin. So we just got a statement for the attorney from the attorneys for Jacob Anderson. I'm going to read a, a quick snippet here for you. We have never encountered a case with more misrepresentation concerning what actually occurred. Now we'll have the full statement um, on our website at www.wfaa.com. So please check that out there. Reporting live here at the UTD campus, Jobin Panicker, Channel 8 News. Jobin, thanks.